hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video let's talk about uh, how to crack a technical interview in the mnc's like uh, tata infosys v pro as uh, a number of uh, companies so we'll see what all the expectations are from the company people will be there from you guys and what all the questions might arise from there and so the startingly it will be like uh, introduce about yourself find about your college name all those things will go on but in the mainly the technical thing the main concept they are going to ask you about the object oriented programming where many people is going to fail to answer the particular questions so it is not uh, much uh, difficult to answer the object oriented programming questions it is very much easy like uh, if you understand the topic it is very uh, easy part to answer uh, with the person and the one thing is like you need to be a confidence while answering the particular uh, questions and you need to be thorough like what you are saying you need to know before it is not like you will be uh, behinding the particular uh, question answers and same thing you are uh, uh, answering to them it is not going to work because they might ask you to uh, tell with the real world example like what is class how object is made and what is the purpose of the class why we need require why we require the particular objects almost things so these all the companies are uh, questions will be there and it is very easiest like uh, first you need to be have a confident on uh, yourself like uh, you'll be cracking the interview the second thing is you need to be thorough with the topics like the main thing is the basics of any programming language so if i tell you about object oriented programming it is almost similar in java python and c c++ all, almost similar things okay so in this particular uh, entire uh, video i'll be only speaking about the java itself because if it's it's covers like uh, you can answer any of the interview questions so same almost in the python also it works and uh, suppose if the time permits i'll be making the videos on the python too so let's uh, focus on the java interview questions like what all the questions it might be arise from the company side and for you guys i have done the particular notes also so here is the notes so where um, all the questions with answers i have written over here so what all the object oriented concept topics are there everything i have been packed inside this particular notes so before before attending an interview you can just uh, go through uh, with this particular notes and you can uh, give the particular interview very well okay so it is not uh, much uh, difficult so uh, taking my example i have attended a number of interviews so almost all the same questions uh, is going to repeat what is class what is object what is abstraction interface constructor inheritance method overloading overriding and what is a thread what is a collections so all these all the questions uh, will be arising from the <clears throat> particular uh, interviewer okay so the basics i am not going to tell you about so what is string what is list so this is all you need to know what is arrays all those things these are all the very basic concepts so in the engineering thing from the day one you are been uh, listening to this uh, particular uh, concept what is the array what is string all those things you, you should know okay but the main part where the particular uh, person is been uh, facing the difficult here is in the object oriented programming because no one is going to explain properly with this thing so i try my best to explain you guys so with these notes along with this notes i'll be showing you the demo here so what ex how exactly the class has been done how we can iterate the particular methods from the particular class so i'll be showing you with an example along with the particular theory part also okay so now so here uh, object oriented program is something like do not repeat yourself that means suppose if i say you to do some particular task you will be doing uh, the same thing so if i say um, 100 of 100 percent people you need to create 100 percent uh, details you need to store it into one uh, particular variable and into printed details so you cannot create 100 variables for the 100 people just to store a name for them so for that particular purpose you will be going to a concepts of class you will just create a particular class person and which it takes the person name as an attribute so you will create an object for the particular class you can create a number of objects so where object oriented uh, programming comes into the picture so the main uh, strong pillars of object oriented program is abstraction polymorphism encapsulation as well as an inheritance so before going to these topics i'll be coming to the first concept that is a class so before you need to know what is a class so here see class is a user defined data type so class is a user defined database that has its own data members and a member functions that means inside a class it is class is inside a standard class so where we have a own data members data members in the sense like uh, the variable names like you can uh, declare as a these all the fields so here you see class and we'll be giving as a class name to declare a class so class name should be always capital letter inside and class you will be declaring and fields as well as a methods 
so method something like the particular functions suppose fields field in the sense so if i just show you with an example here is a class employee so employee is a class name here is these all the fields so these are all the fields integer id int age and string name so these are all the fields and all of the methods over here the print details is one method over here and get age is also one method so these are all the methods and it has a data members for the particular class that is nothing but a class so this is, all, this is only the class so which things so now same thing next if i come to what is an object object is an instance of a class by which we can access the data members and member functions of the particular class so what is object object is something like it's like one can understand like it is one pointer so which the way from which you can access all the data members of the particular class even you can access all the member functions of a particular class so in this example so we are created in class employee id age name we have and we have a two functions suppose i am creating a particular object so ERK is one particular object okay so I am giving so if you want to create an object how you are being creating an object you will be using a same class name for which you want to create an object so ERK is an object employees in a class and you will be using a keyword of a new and same we'll be calling the class name and we are calling the particular class function over here so ERK is object is been created and even BZ is also object is been created with these two particular objects I can set the particular id as well as i can set the particular age i can set the particular name and even i can call the print details functions over here which does mean it will just tell my id is the particular id which you have set and what is the name of you okay so here uh, we are doing we are using a dot operator over here so i'm just telling ark dot id is equal to one just i am doing a i'm just setting the particular value of this id so there are a number of ways to set the values so first we'll be seeing how we can uh, set uh, manually by using a dot operator later we can be i'll be telling you how to set a particular values using getters and setters method okay so we are setting the values so same way for the second object bz i am creating one more values so id i am giving jj i am giving name as a taranam i am just giving it over here so then if i run this particular program so first i'll say ark is an object so i want to call an from the particular class i want to call the print details over here so i want to just tell ERK dot print details so i'll just comment out these two lines so if i just run this uh, program if i just run this particular uh, program so i want to get in uh, i want to uh, run this particular uh, line of code my id is particular id and the main name is the particular name which i have been set so it should be like my id is one the name is anis and the second id also it should get printed because bz dot print details function i am going to call over here so the same thing it should uh, print like what is the id is 2 and the name is taranam you can see my id is 1 and the, my id is 2 and the main name is taranam so these are the two objects so ark as well as a bz are the two objects where i am setting the values and i am just calling the particular function from here so if i want to just get only the particular age of an object so what it does means it will just return the particular age so if i just tell here so i want to print the particular ERK age and even the BZ object get age. So I'm just calling the get age function, which will return the value what the particular age value it will be in return. So age we have been set over here. So ERK age is 22 and the Tarana image is 20. I have been set. So for the same way, if I just call the particular uh, function again, so if I just run the particular program, you will be able to see the output over here. So you can see the my name is uh, uh, Anis and the ID is 2. My name is Tarannam and the 22 getting is been, it is been returning from this particular line of code and 20 is been returning the age of the bz object with the name Tarannam. So this is how the class is been created and the data member is data data members can be added as well as a method can be declared and how to create an object. This is the way these are two lines where we can just create an object and even we can using a dot operator I can set the values. With the dot operator, I can just get all the details from the method from the particular class. So this is all nothing about the class as well as an objects. Okay. So I hope you have understood uh, till here what is a class as well as an objects. So next we'll be seeing access modifiers and uh, getters and setters in Java. So here access model the access modifiers. So access modifiers is where property method is accessible. There are four types of access. Suppose uh, here you see um, in this particular program. So I int id int age string name. So there is no any uh, what you can say there is no any conditions to it. Like I cannot uh, access the id, I cannot access the age, I cannot access the name. So defaultly it is a public over here. We are not uh, setting any private all those things. 
suppose you want to keep suppose some of the things privately so you can just declare it as a private and we have four types of access modifier private default protected as well as in public so it is your your wish how we can how you need to maintain your uh, data members inside in class so these are all the access modifiers so private default and processor uh that is all four things so you can just refer this particular table so if you are declaring as a public you can access the any data member as well as in function within the class within the package outside the package as well as uh, outside the package but within the subclass and outside the package so everywhere whenever you are declaring as a public so it is a public over here id is a public so if you are not declaring anything it will be public itself you can access anywhere outside the class within the class within another class all those things this is uh, that is nothing but in public if you are giving as a protected you can access with these three things but you cannot access outside the particular package so package in the sense this is a package you can see this is a package that is a com dot company so this is one particular package where all my program has been written so inside the src com dot company is one package so in within this particular package you can access wherever you like but that is what the package is, uh, is uh, meaning over here okay and default you are giving as a default method can be accessed within the class as well as within the package but cannot access within the outside the package but private only within the class you can access it but without within the package you cannot access the particular uh, values and even in the subclass all those things so if you just refer this table you can easily answer with your uh, interview so these are all the things wherever you want to access the particular things okay so next coming back to the constructors in java so what is a constructor so constructor is something uh, are the methods but they are used to initialize an object basically constructor in the sense so whenever you are creating an object that means constructor is going to call so whenever i am creating an object so whenever i create a particular objects over here if i just open this loops 3 so here you see with this example whenever i create an object emp obj is equal to new employee 1 so employee 1 is in class whenever i am creating an object this particular employee 1 it will just call the constructor so what is a constructor constructor is something it will be the same as a class name so emb1 is a class name i want my constructor name is also same as a class name and it doesn't have any return type it is just having some few things to be done so here i have said this is a constructor so with this example leave about everything so here you see when i'm just calling and see i'm just uh, comment i'm doing just commenting the object one as well as the object two at this point of object one the constructor is going to be in uh, called if i run this particular program so let's see the output and understand what exactly it has been now doing it so see here when i'm calling a constructor see it is i'm constructor is been getting called this is a constructor this is a second constructor that is 15 i'm getting as the output here but i am not creating i am not calling any functions over here i am not calling this emp1 function even i am not calling this particular emp1 function also but i am just creating an objects over here so first object i created emp1 obj is equal to new object one whenever it sees the new keyword and it's called the particular constructor it will just go to the particular class and it will search for the particular constructor if it's there it is automatic this particular constructor is being called that means this is a constructor is getting called when you are creating an object the constructor is going to call if you are not declaring a constructor the default constructor will be called by the compiler automatically inside your java jvm machine okay and here i have said one more thing so emp1 string it will take and it will take a particular value so same way i am just calling the second constructor over it i'm just this is with the parameters this is without parameter and this is the with the parameters so here i am in the second object when i am creating it it is taking two parameter rahman it is taking as well as a value it is taking so when it is been created when the particular object is going to create it it is just going to call the second uh, the particular second uh, constructor which is been with the parameter here is a constructor name emp1 with the parameter string x as well as int y so where the values is going to pass from here to here and this particular line of code is being getting executed so when you are creating an object the constructor is going to call so we have a number of constructor parameter without parameter and with the parameter so these all the constructor is there you can see let's see what all been things written over here constructor or similar to the methods it is like similar to the methods that means you can see it is similar to one particular method itself you can see this one particular method so like something it is going on inside the particular method same way then constructor do not have any return type not even wide so you see here 
in the code there is no return type over here there is no return type here you can see there is no return type over here it's been written over here just we are having a particular line of code there is no int return type all this like we are not declaring void employee one int employee one public int we are not doing just we are declaring same name as a class name that is what the thing it has been written next every time we create an object by using the new keyword the constructor has been called this is already i have said once we are creating an object with the new keyword automatic our constructor is going to call that is done that is uh, we know how it been called when i run the program you saw so whenever i whenever it is been seeing the new keyword you can see this constructor is been getting called okay so next so next uh, we do not create a constructor of ourselves then the default constructor created by the java as i said if you are not declaring any constructor default method is going to create it okay so then rules of creating and constructor the class name and the constructor name should be same this already i have said and it must be having no explicit return type and it cannot have an abstract static as well as final law thing inside your uh, while declaring and constructor these all the rules of the constructor so we have said types of constructor we have a default default constructor is which it is doesn't take any parameters so this is my default constructor just i am declaring as a class name but something i have written that is a default constructor and uh, parameters are in the same so we are just passing the parameters over here you can see the parameters i am just going to pass over string x as well as the int y i am just passing the particular parameters okay so this is all about the constructor and the constructor overloading in java just like method constructor overloaded we can overload the employee constructor like below so the constructor can take parameter without being overloaded or it can be there can be more than two overloaded constructor that in the sense see if i am just passing a parameters over here when i am passing the parameter it is not going to run this kind of con this is not going to run this constructor it is just running this kind of constructor for the object to suppose same way if i just comment out uh, this line i am not passing any parameter i am not passing any parameter so just say i am just not passing any parameter object one is different and the second object two is different so when i am just calling the two simple object when i am just creating a two simple object you can see the constructor is going to call two times this is a constructor it is going to call two times you can see i make this is a constructor this is a constructor that means two times it's been called because why because i am creating in two object so each object has its own value i mean it is whenever it is object one is been called the constructor is going to call again the second object is going to call and same thing it is going to call but is not getting called by this constructor which has parameter which accepts a string as well as an integer value but suppose i am not declaring i am just commenting out i am just uncommenting this line of code but same i am calling again one more i am creating one more object too with the parameters this time it is overloading the particular method it is not going to call this first constructor without parameters it is going to call the constructor which has the particular parameters which take string as well as the integer value which i have been provided so it is what the thing is been written over here it is just overloading the particular values over here so when i run the program now i can see this is a constructor this is a second constructor and the value uh, constructor m1 15 is been coming that means it is just taking this it is, it is just calling the constructor which having the parameter so that is what the uh, thing i have been uh, written over here this is what i think it has been written so i hope you have understood what is class objects as well as a particular constructor and a default constructor parameters uh, parameterized constructor so these are all the questions it is they are going to ask 100% okay so any interviewer he will be going to ask this kind of object oriented programming question itself they are not going to ask the easiest one okay so the remaining concepts i'll be adding inside my next video so thank you for watching this video so please like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel share with your friends and uh, i hope you all understood if you have any doubts you can comment uh, in the below comment section Take care. Bye-bye.